Here is another interesting situation that we face while we are doing algebra. Sometimes, instead of an equal sign, we have an inequality symbol, like less than or equal to, less than, greater than or equal to, or greater than. Most of the time, as we're doing our algebra, we treat that symbol as if it was an equals, and we follow the rules about moving numbers back and forth across the equal sign. But there are a couple of special cases we have to see. Here, my x is being multiplied by a negative 3. So to move the negative 3 away from my x, I will divide both sides by negative 3. These cancel. My x is isolated. 21 divided by negative 3 is negative 7, and all that's left is to write down my symbol. But this is where we have a special rule. When we are dividing both sides of an inequality by a negative number, we have to turn the symbol backwards. My less than or equal to becomes a greater than or equal to. This only happens if we are dividing both sides by a negative number. Let's look at another example. 2x is less than 8. My x is being multiplied by a 2, so I divide both sides by a 2. These cancel. My x is isolated. 8 divided by 2 is 4, and my less than symbol is copied down. I do not turn it backwards because I divided both sides by a positive number. It's only if I'm dividing both sides by a negative number that I would turn it backwards. Here we have 4x greater than negative 12. I have to divide both sides by 4 in order to cancel and isolate my x. Negative 12 divided by 4 is negative 3. And in this case, I'm dividing both sides by a positive number, so I keep my symbol the way it is. Here, negative 4y is greater than or equal to negative 16. I must divide both sides of this inequality by negative 4 in order to cancel this side, isolate my y. Negative 16 divided by negative 4 is positive 4, but again, because I divided both sides by a negative number, I have to turn my symbol backwards. Whether we turn the symbol backwards or not has nothing to do with whether it has this little line that means or equal to under it. It only has to do with whether we are dividing both sides by a negative number. In this case we were, in this case we were dividing by a negative number. So in both of these cases, the symbol turned backwards. In this case, and in this case, we were dividing both sides by a positive number. So in both of these cases, the symbol stayed facing the direction it was originally facing. There is another circumstance where we have to turn the symbol backwards. In the last examples, we looked at situations where our variable was being multiplied by a negative number. And we found out that whenever you divide both sides of an inequality by a negative number, you have to turn the symbol backwards. Here, our variables are being divided by other numbers. Here, my x is being divided by a negative 3. That means I have to multiply both sides of the inequality by negative 3. These cancel. My x is isolated. 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. And because I multiplied both sides of the inequality by a negative number, I have to turn my symbol backwards. Here, my x is being divided by a 4. I'm going to multiply both sides by a 4. These cancel. x is isolated. 2 times 4 is 8. But I multiplied both sides by a positive number, so I leave the symbol as it is. Here, I am dividing my a by a negative 2, so I have to multiply both sides by a negative 2. These cancel. My a is isolated. 7 times negative 2 is negative 14. And because I multiplied both sides by a negative number, I turn my symbol backwards. Here, my m is being divided by a 5, so I multiply both sides by 5. These cancel. m is isolated. 3 times 5 is 15. Because I multiplied both sides by a positive number, I keep the symbol the way it already was. So the rule is, 
When you are working with inequalities, regardless of whether the symbol has the little extra or equal to line under it or not, if you are dividing both sides by a negative number or multiplying both sides by a negative number, you must turn the symbol backwards. If you are dividing both sides by a positive number or multiplying both sides by a positive number, you do not turn the symbol backwards, you leave it the way it is.